Lunchtime. Second Chronicles 21. And Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And Jehoram, his son, reigned in his place. And he had brothers, the sons of Jehoshaphat, Azariahu and Yehiel, and Zechariahu, and Azariahu, and Mikael, and Shaphatiahu. All these were sons of Jehoshaphat, sovereign of Israel. And their father gave them many gifts of silver and gold and precious items with walled cities in Yehuda. But he had given the reign to Jehoram because he was the firstborn. And when Jehoram had risen up over the reign of his father and strengthened himself, he killed all his brothers with the sword and also others of the heads of Yisrael. And Jehoram was thirty-two years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Jerusalem. And he walked in the way of the sovereigns of Yisrael, as the house of Ahab had done, for he had the daughter of Ahab as a wife, and he did evil in the eyes of Jehovah. And Jehovah would not destroy the house of David because of the covenant he had made with David, and since he had promised to give a lamp to him and to his sons all these days, all the days. In his days the Adamites revolted from under the hand of Yehuda and appointed a sovereign over themselves. Then Jehoram went out with his officers and all his chariots with him. And it came to be that he rose by night and struck the Adamites who had surrounded him and the commanders of the chariots. Thus the Edomites revolted from under the hand of Yehuda to this day. Then Libna revolted from under his hand because he had forsaken Jehovah Elohim of his fathers. He had also made high places in the mountains of Yehuda and caused the inhabitants of Yerushalayim to commit whoring and led Yehuda astray. And a letter came to him from Eliyahu prophet, saying, Thus said Jehovah Elohim of your father David, Because you have not walked in the ways of Jehoshaphat your father, or in the ways of Asa, sovereign of Yehuda, but have walked in the way of the sovereigns of Israel, and have made Yehuda and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim to commit whoring, like the whorings of the house of Ahab, and also have killed your brothers, those of your father's household who were better than yourself. See, Jehovah is going to strike with a great blow among your people, your children, your wives, and your possessions, and you, with many sicknesses, with diseases in your intestines, until your intestines come out because of the sickness day by day. And Jehovah stirred up the spirit of the Philistines against Jehoram, and of the Arabians who were near the Cushites. And they came up into Yehuda and broke into it, and captured all the possessions that were found in the sovereign's house, and also his sons and his wives, so that there were was not a son left to him except Yehoahaz, the youngest of his sons. And after all this, Jehovah plagued him in his intestines with a disease for which there was no healing. And it came to be in the course of time, at the end of two years, that his intestines came out because of his sickness, and he died in great pain. And his people made no burning for him, like the burning for his fathers. He was thirty-two years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Yerushalayim, to no one's regret, and passed away. And they buried him in the city of David, but not in the burial sites of the sovereigns. And the inhabitants of Yerushalayim set up Ahaziahu, his youngest son, to reign in his place. For the raiding band that came with the Arabians into the camp had killed all the older sons. So Ahaziahu, son of Jehoram, sovereign of Yehuda, reigned. Ahaziah, who was 42 years old when he began to reign, 
and he reigned in Yerushalayim one year. And his mother's name was Athaliahu, the granddaughter of Omri. He too walked in the ways of the house of Ahab, for his mother counseled him to do wrong, and he did evil in the eyes of Jehovah. Like the house of Ahab, for they were his counselors after the death of his father to his destruction. He also walked in their counsel and went with Jehoram, son of Ahab, sovereign of Israel, to fight against Hazael, sovereign of Aram, at Ramoth Gilad, and the Arameans struck Joram. And he returned to Yisrael to recover from the strikings with which they struck him at Ramah, when he fought against Hazael, sovereign of Aram. And Azariahu, son of Jehoram, sovereign of Yehuda, went down to see Jehoram, son of Ahab, in Yisrael, for he was sick. But from Elohim came the downfall of Ahaz Yahu through his coming to Yoram, for when he went when he came he went out with Yoram against Yehu, son of Nimshi, whom Jehovah had anointed to cut off the house of Ahab. And it came to be when Yehu was executing judgment on the house of Ahab, that he found the rulers of Yehuda and the sons of Ahaz Yahu brothers who served Ahaz Yahu and killed them. So he searched for Ahaz Yahu, and they caught him while he was hiding in Shomaron, and brought him to Yehu, and put him to death, then buried him. For they said, He is the son of Jehoshaphat, who sought Jehovah with all his heart. And there was none in the house of Ahaz Yahu strong enough to reign. And when Athal Yahu, the mother of Ahaz Yahu, saw that her son was dead, she rose up and destroyed all the offspring of the reign of the house of Yehuda. But Ye Yehoshabath, the daughter of the sovereign, took Yoash, son of Ahaziahu, and stole him away from among the sovereign's sons who were slain, and put him and his nurse in a bedroom. So Yehoshabath, the daughter of sovereign Yeho Yehoram, the wife of Yeho, Jehoiada the priest, because she was the sister of Ahaz Yehu, hid him from Athal Yehu, so that she could not put him to death. And he was hidden with them in the house of Elohim for six years, while Athaliah was reigning over the land. <laughs>